Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, I'm going to try and figure out how to zoom in here. I did it before and now I can't figure out what I've done. I zoom, no, maybe turn it. I know, that's right, yes. Now go back out again. Um, two. Oh, back there. There's two, between two. <laughs> okay, I get it. Is it fair? Okay, let's try that. Okay, so I hope this works. Now I'm going to do a video on how I did this twin chip. Um, haven't quite finished him yet, but I wanted to show you how what we were making. We're doing grape leaf and um, grapes. Now, majority of this is pretty basic, so um. Or, you know they've already been instructions or something on, on here of how to do a, a lot of the stitches and that so I'm just going to show you that you need just to get a piece of um, felt I'll just cut this piece of felt not very good looks like a foot of a bird or something and you're going to stitch it down round carefully like so okay then I'll fix this up a bit because I will show you uh, the stem stitch that's on it. Um, a bit more pointy and not so wide, I think. I don't know. We'll just see if I, how I go. I did, um, you know, you sort of... I don't know why sometimes you can get something really good that it takes ages to figure it out again. Anyway, so there's that bit. Right, now I need some thread. And I'm going to just sew... I'll, well, I'll just sew the part down the centre of the, the um, veins in it because otherwise the video will take too long because I'm going to show you how to do the grapes and the um, little oops, bits on the leaf. I don't know what happened to my needles. I think I might have a needle thief somewhere around because I keep losing so many. I think I bought myself three packets not long ago and I, and I found all the packets and they're empty. Um... Maybe if I look in my needle book. <laughs> you never thought of that, did you? <laughs> dear, oh dear, I'm a silly old fool, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. We found one with a bit decent size hole in it now. Um, oh dear, oh dear. I take them out there, though, and I know that I've taken a fair few out of there, and I just don't know what they become of them. You know, I'm not real keen on these ones, the gold eyes either. For some reason, I can't thread them. But anyway, I've got that now. So I'm hoping that we're still in, in the shot of this. So once you have put um, little stab stitches, like up, just come up and down and sewn, sewn that on there, then we can do a, um, a stem stitch. So we're just going to go down and back up through there. Make sure you're sewing it to the piece of material. Now when you do this part, you go back down in here and you come back up at that end. Now always keep your thread to that side there. Keep the cotton underneath, the, towards your thumb, say, you know, so it's back that way, okay? And always come up at the edge here. If you take it the other way, the stitch will go back the wrong way and you won't have a nice straight, even edge going down there. So hopefully this is working and this is what you'll be doing for this part here okay now once you've done that bit then you want to make two small um, lines there as well too so this that's the um, veins of the leaf and I just did little stab stitches around the edge of it um, we just come up and just go through there just to start with don't go too close to the edge and only make them small and try to keep them evenly spaced and keep them even the stitches even as you go okay so that's how you're going to put the leaf on now next um, you'll need to do the um, the grapevine now you just want a piece of um, uh, felt the size that you want it to be say um, your grapevine so we're going to we'll put that there say I'll put it over a little bit further to that part of it okay now um, we need to put you know, a bead needle and I'm going to use um, machine thread 
because um, sewing machine fit and it's fairly old and uh, you know when you get things that are made a while back they seem to be a bit quality <laughs> you know so to my way of thinking they are anyway so I always hang on to anything like that because it's probably a bit better quality than what it is nowadays not very but things change though they, they make things quick and easy now so they don't really now let me see, I've got to thread this needle, which I thought I could have did earlier, but you know, don't think about them sort of things, do you? So this is, oh goodness me, <laughs> so this is going to be um, about 30 centimetres long once it's doubled over. Um, so that's what I come to, and then you're going to just put a knot in it because we are going to put beads on so we're going to have knots some people don't have knots with beads I have just lost that little piece of purple that I had here in that bit of an upper yeah that's all okay so all you need to do with this is just um, put a few stab stitches on it just to fasten it down okay and I will probably make this up one day but I won't be finishing it today because I've just been quite a while because it does take a while and a little bit of patience to get all these um, little bits done okay so I'll just I'll just cut that off there so it's not getting caught up in everything which has already done that so a bit late just make sure you haven't got too many tails on the back of what you're doing but always finish off your <coughs> one piece before you start on the other don't do what I'm doing just, just go really nearly at it all and I'll throw them out now these are really nice <clears throat> I don't know what size they are I'm terribly sorry but as you can see they're very small and they're a really good glass bead <clears throat> really good well they are good glass beads so um, you can use whatever you like but the glass ones would be better just so just come up through the back and thread one it on and go back down now this is going to be pretty basic and Till you get um, to, you just want to be covering up the purple piece of uh, felt. Just come up the, through the back, pick up your bead, and go down through there. Okay. Now, this one here, I'm going to have it hanging down this way. Okay. This. Um, so when I get down here, I'm going to just put a couple without anything underneath them okay so they're not dimensional at all because you want the shape of your grape to come down to a bit of a point you know because you they do hang down like that so you want it to come down to a bit of a point so you're going to cover all this here with beads the whole thing you can come around to the side it won't matter if you go off it a little bit because you know for the for the dimension of the thing itself it'll make it look a bit more rounded um uh, anyway <laughs> my words are failing me today all i know is i'm freezing gold here where i live it's way way the temperature's really <laughs> way down today it's been it was six degrees yesterday it may get to nine today if we're lucky um can't work that out in Fahrenheit all I know is, is I'd rather it be 37 which is really hot <laughs> uh, than this because this is just scary it's um, cold and everything just feels you know you just want to get back and get in a bed but then you can't do that because you can't get anything done and waste your life <laughs> I'm thinking that's a bit of a waste but I guess at least I'd be warm I suppose so anyway so we're going to continue on with that until you get to the stage where you have built it up like this see um i've come round to the edges of it there a bit see there's and then you start putting a few on top of one another it doesn't matter and if they're not holding there push them through a few put your thread through a, put your thread through a few <laughs> beads at a time and that will hold onto it okay and you know just fasten them back on there now it's a little bit puckery but I'm not going to be too concerned about that mostly when I do this I, I do it in a hoop um, because it's considered um, a sort of a part of stump work okay now to do this part here this is the part that you want for your little leafy bits that are on the top of the grape which I can't the thing the name of them just you know 
it's took off on me. <laughs> anyway, so you're going to, to start with, you'll come up through the back. Now, I've got a bit of um, uh, crochet thread. I didn't find one the exact same colour, but I wanted to use it because when you use the thinner one, it's it parts. It, when you use the one that is up, made up of more than one strand of thread, it sort of comes tends to come apart, you know, a bit and doesn't look as neat as what I like this to be. So you just come up through the back, then you want to get yourself a pin, okay? And you put the pin in through your work up here, say, all right? And you come around the pin. I can mount the pin and back down through there okay now this is a kind of needle weaving thing we're going to do come up again through the back please don't go back up come back where you went down okay now I made this a bit longer than what I would have usually done it because I wanted to show you now you're going to take your needle and go backwards underneath that and bring it up through there you're going to go over that one and go backwards underneath that and I'm sorry if I'm yelling at you I don't really mean to you go back over that and under this one, okay? And as you're going along, you're getting that hooked up on the needle, on the pin, you don't worry about that, you just unhook yourself. Try and keep it reasonably taut, but not really tight. Don't pull it real tight, otherwise you will lose the effect that you're making here. So go over, quit caught on the pin, okay, and back through there. Now, if you wanted to, I suppose you could put a piece of thread on that and fasten it down, but this is the way, you, you know. So you go over and back under there. So we're sort of doing like needle weaving. We're not going to catch up any of that material because if we do that, it's not going to work, okay? So you just go on like this, and I'm hoping that we can see this because I'm hoping that I've got that zoomed in. Um, I just did a video on finishing this or making this, and it did not work. And that's why I've partly got it done because I was going to stop and then do a bit more but uh, I looked at it and it wasn't close enough so I decided I'd come back on and show you a bit closer so if you go like this this is a really neat way of doing stuff this is you can make um, lots of bits and pieces with it I've probably used it a bit in any sort of underwater themes because it makes really good seaweed I think <laughs> this stitch which is like, it's a needle weaving thing. Now, you're going to take that out and do it very carefully, okay, because there you've got this. And I'm going to just go back through a few more times because I want it to be a little bit, so I'm going to pin it back down. I'm going to get my pin and I'm going to stick it straight through, I think, so it's not in my way too much. Um, when I say straight through, I'm going to try and get it so I can hold onto it and still go and... I'll get all fingers and not enough needle here. Now go in through there. Still we keep going. We're doing the same thing. We're not changed in any way. I just moved that pin a bit out of my road. So I could go up a bit higher on it. Now I'm going to have to take the pin out. Okay. And now I've got that. And now I'm going to bring that over there. And I'm going to put it into between my um, little uh, beads. Like so. And now I've got one of those. Look at that. I think that's really clever, don't you? <laughs> I'm sorry. But I love these. I love different things. I love absolutely, you know, just do love making different things. Which I've probably made that a few times because it's, over the years it's probably been one of my best, best things to do. So now, I've got a little bit of a knot there. Um, I'm... I'm going to do another one to put it down through there, okay? And do I have enough time? I'll let you just watch me and see what happens, okay? So we want to put a pin up in here. Okay, and just take this thread down and hopefully I'll have enough cotton to do this. I probably haven't made this one as long, but that doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's okay. Come back up through the bottom. You go under there and over the, this one, over and under, over and under, <coughs> over and under, over and under, and you just keep going, just keep it a bit more taut than what I had been, I haven't got it nice and 
give it a little bit of a tweak and a wiggle it might help it a bit to look all right go over and under just going along here or even away so if you didn't want it to tap, go down into the grape like I said you can use this for a um, seaweedy thing or an anemone or something like that you know if you're making something under the water an underwater theme thing and you can just sort of leave it sitting up straight after you've finished making it because it sort of it will it'll stay up to a degree it might wiggle about a bit I actually have a really good um, uh, applique thing I did with an under, underwater theme but it's put away somewhere anyway see so you could just leave it like that if you wanted to and have it standing up and if you did a few and made them really long well that would work nice wouldn't it okay so now you just want to take it down and go to well pretty much the side bit there with that okay so that's how you make your grape which I'm not really that thrilled with he seems to be a little bit long than what I'd like him to be but I just wanted to show you the basic idea of putting it together and how, how you go about making them so there is a grape <coughs> and the leaf and then this is a chain, a chain stitch okay so you can put that around there so thank you everybody for watching and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on how to make a, uh, <laughs> a grape <laughs> on the twinchy okay thank you for watching everybody bye bye